We've been waiting for you. You have our deepest gratitude for rescuing the chief. It was no walk in the park, that's for sure. Luke was so heroic. <laughs> was I really that good? Except for the getting kidnapped part. Shut up. Oracle Knights Commandant Dorian General Van Grants gave me a message for you. Dorian General Grants is currently meeting with Lieutenant General Almondine, commander of the Kitsuer area. He would like you to come to the meeting hall later, at your convenience. As for the ship, repairs are proceeding smoothly. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'll get back to the repairs now.
Where do they hold meetings? There should be a guest room down by the port. Okay, let's go check it out later.
Ah, look. It's good to see you again. You don't remember me? I visited your mansion in Batacool once when you were young. I'm Almondine. Sorry, don't remember you. Oh well, you were still a small boy at the time. Phone Master, I've informed Count Almondine about the incident with Arietta. Please forgive my servant's mistakes. I hope I can expect Doth to deal with the matter in good faith. Say, could you send a message to my father? A message? If we use a carrier pigeon, I believe we could get a message there before you arrive, but... That's fine. Tell him I'm bringing Phone Master Ion and Colonel Jade Curtis of Malkuth, and that... Luke, your lack of prudence is truly astounding. Colonel Curtis? You mean to say this is Jade the Necromancer? That's correct. My deepest apologies for not introducing myself. I carry a letter of peace on behalf of His Majesty, Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. Your entourage is smaller than I would expect. We've suffered a great deal of interference. I hope you can forgive us. These guys saved me. Put in a good word for them. All right. I'll send a carrier pigeon to the mainland at once. The ship will be ready to leave by tomorrow, so please, get some rest here in port tonight. Thank you. Master Luke, Dorian General Grants wishes to see you. He asks that you wait on the deck. Master Van? Okay.
Do you remember when the two of us first met, Luke? I told you I don't remember any of that. That was before I was kidnapped. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're completely different. Huh? Uh, I'm just glad you're you. Arietta the Wild is being held here on the charge of treason against the Phone Master. We ask that you avoid any unnecessary contact. What's happened won't incur King Ingerbert's disfavor and cause negotiations to fall through. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to my uncle. I'll ask father and mother to help, too. That's right. Your mother is His Majesty's younger sister. Yep, so relax. Question. What? What do you think of Tyr? I'd say she's my type. Oh, I see. I hope I fill out like Tyr. Then maybe I'll be good enough for you. Right now, I'm still a kid, but I love you, Luke. Ah, don't say weird stuff like that. You're so cute, Luke. So you weren't actually a true Seventh Phonist after all. I remember you talking about Seventh Phonists before. What does that mean, anyway? Didn't your tutors teach you? How should I know? I don't remember. But you lost your memory seven years ago, right? Haven't you studied since then? I had a lot of other things I had to learn. Like my parents' faces. All matter contains phonons, basic particles of sound. Phonons are divided into six elements. What, you decided to explain after all? Combining phonons with memory particles from the planet's core yields an enormous amount of energy. A device was made to supply fuel to the world by passing those particles through the phone belt. That's what's known as the planet storm. Sounds complicated. So... The planet storm caused a mutation in the six phonon elements and the memory particles. And that was the birth of the seventh phonon. Those who use it to perform phonic arts are called seventh phonists. I don't know what to make out of that story, but I'm no phonist. But you caused a hyper-resonance with me. You're capable of using the seventh phonon. That's something you're born with. Now that you mention it, Jade can't use the seventh phonon. Right. There are very few seventh phonists. Scores, those who read the score, and healers are both seventh phonists. So basically it means special phonists who use a special phonon. I'm sorry. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't think I've been taking your memory loss very seriously. I've been unkind to you this whole time. I'm ashamed of myself. It, it's okay. It's not really a... I'm really sorry. Oh, my body. 
body's moving on its own. Why am I moving? I have reached you. Uh, who the hell are you? Show me your power. The same power as mine. Are you the one controlling me? What the hell are you? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. What's going on? No, stop! Luke, calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. That's it. Now focus your mind on the tips of your fingers. Luke, listen to my voice. Now relax, just like that. Are you all right, Luke? What... what happened to me? I would presume a hyper-resonance occurred. A hyper-resonance? You mean that thing that blew us to Tataru Valley? Yes, that was also the power of hyper-resonance, though in an incomplete form. Master? What's happening to me? Haven't you ever wondered about your kidnapping? And the way you've been forbidden to leave the mansion? Well, that's because, you know, my father's worried about me. No. It's to keep you, the only person in the world who can cause a hyper-resonance on his own, on a short leash here in Kimlaska. Wait, Master, hold on. I don't understand what you're saying. Just what is hyper-resonance, anyway? A hyper-resonance is a power that occurs when two seventh phonons interact. It can destroy and reform any matter. Normally, it occurs only under special conditions, with two seventh phonists present. But I can cause it by myself? Like what just happened? Yes. With training, you could control it at will. It would be useful in war. Your father and the king both know that. That's why Malkuth wanted you. Are you saying I've been held captive in my own home as a weapon? Wait, do they plan to keep me this way my whole life? Well, your engagement to Princess Natalia means your holding cell will likely change to the castle. I refuse to accept that. Yeah, it can be annoying outside, but staying trapped in my home just to be used in some war? Calm down, Luke. First, we avert the war. Then we let everyone know of that success. If we do that, it will establish your status as a hero who preserved the peace. At the very least, you should be set free from your unfair imprisonment. You think so? You really think so, Master? Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You've been chosen. The power of hyper-resonance will make you a hero. A hero? Me, a hero? Looks like we've arrived. Here, we'll change ships for one headed to Batical. Cheer up, Luke. A sullen face isn't becoming of a future hero. Right. I'll bid you farewell here. I have to turn Arietta over to the Inspector and Doth. What? I want you to come with us. I'll head for Batical later. Don't be selfish, Luke. But... The ship leaves port from the Kimlaskan side. Inquire at the Kimlaskan consulate. I'll see you again in Batical. Tyr, please look after Luke for me. Oh, right.
Oh my, what's a fine gentleman like you doing in a place like this? Huh? What do you want? Come on, you have such a pretty face. Don't ruin it by frowning like that. Oh no! Some old lady is after my Luke! Oh, my, pardon me, little girl. I didn't mean to interfere. I'll be on my way. Stop. Hmm? Return what you stole. Huh? Hey, my wallet's gone. Hmm. So you're not all chumps, huh? York, take care of this. Urushi, we're out of here. Don't move. If you return what you stole, I'll release you unharmed. You've got some guts making enemies of the Dark Wings. You haven't heard the last of us. They're the Dark Wings? If I'd known that, I'd have cut them to pieces. Yes, after all, you did a great job of protecting your wallet. By the way, Colonel, why did you just stand by and watch as she did that? Oh no, you got me. It looked like it would be so amusing. What the? You jerk!
Oh my, Phone Master Ion. If only you'd let me know you were coming, I'd have prepared a grand welcome for you. It's fine. We're trying to keep a low profile. Also, I have a favor I'd like to ask. Name it. The Kessadonia Merchants Guild is always at your service, Phone Master. We want to read the data from this phone disk. Leave it to me. You there. Analyze that phone disk and deliver the results to him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ion, you know this guy? It's thanks to the Phone Master that we were able to establish this place of exchange on the border. The Merchants Guild contributes large amounts of money to Doth. In return, the Order enforces the recognition of Chesedonia as an autonomous state. You must be really rich, Aster. I can't handle it! Wow! I wish I lived in a place like this! Here are the results of the analysis, sir. Thanks. That's a lot! I guess we'll read them on the ship. Then let's be going. Thank you for your assistance. Anytime you need something, please, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> Ah, here you are. The ship is ready. Please, come to the Kamlaska side port. Look out! <laughs> Hand those over! We shouldn't cause a scene here. To the ship. Damn it. They just don't give up. You're not getting away! Master Luke, departure preparations are complete. Get this ship moving, now. Excuse me? We're being chased, hurry. This one, Sink. Oh, it's you. Leave the rest to me. With my ultra, super, hyper, high grade phonic technology, I'll flay that conniving, long haired, four eyed. <gasps> stop, stop, come back. I'm not done talking. I marked the one named Guy with a curse slot. I can make him my puppet at any time. As for you, make sure you properly dispose of those documents from the Fomacry project. 
Now, who do you think you are? Just you wait. I'm putting this down in my revenge journal. If we made it this far, we should be in the clear. Damn! I lost part of the documents when Sync attacked. Let me see them. Looks like isophone research. 3.141592653589793238462346. This is Lorelei. Lorelei? Isophones? Phonon frequencies? What the heck are you talking about? Lorelei is the name for the aggregate sentience of the seventh phonon. When a certain amount of a particular phonon gathers together, it becomes sentient. Control that, and you can perform high-level phonic arts. Each one has a name. The first phonon sentience is called Shadow. The sixth is called Rim, and so on. Lorelei still hasn't been observed. Its existence is hypothetical. Huh. How come all of you know this stuff? Well, it's actually common knowledge. It's okay, Luke. You can't help it. Just keep learning from here on and you'll be fine. Is it just me? Or are you being a lot nicer to Luke all of a sudden? I, I don't know what you mean. Oh, also, all matter emits a phonon frequency. They're like fingerprints. No two frequencies are the same. Way to change the subject. Very smooth. Be quiet, guy. Isophones are two entities that have the exact same phonon frequency. Of course, they don't exist unless artificially created. Of course, if isophones were common, we'd have our hands full with hyper resonances all over the place. Isophone research holds potential for weapons development, so the military has their eye on it. That Pharmacree technology they worked on a long time ago can make isophones, right? Yeah, Pharmacree is like a copy machine, right? No, replicas created through Pharmacree are mere imitations. A replica may look identical, but its phonon frequency is different. One can't produce isophones that way. Uh, what the hell are you all talking about? Enough of this complicated stuff. Jade can read those documents on his... Emergency! A large number of monsters and an unidentified phone tech signature approaching from Casadonia. Oh no, they're here. Can we assume their goal is to stop Ion and the letter from reaching Kim Laska? You don't suppose they try to just sink the whole ship, do you? Master, what do we do? I can't swim! Shut up and drown. But if they intended to sink us, they wouldn't come storming aboard. Then they're trying to take it over. <sighs> so then, I guess we have to secure the bridge before they do, huh? Exactly. Why do those Oracle guys want to start a war so badly? What a pain. There's no time for complaints. Let's go. 